there's always a way to make money. Even if the interest rates are high, there's going to be somebody who's selling and you can find a buyer or you can find somebody who's having to give up lease space and there'll be someone else to fill it. No matter what the cycle is, there's always movement in the market. If it's an up, if it's an up or if it's a down, only flat markets are the ones for me that, that were scary. But if, if there's an up or a down, you can find a way to make a deal to find an opportunity. Would you guys agree? I, th I think that's very appropriate. Uh, my advice would, would be uh, realize that you're not alone. And so what you've got to do is, is once you think, oh boy, this is a lot tougher and, and I might get washed out, is, is don't do that in a vacuum. Surround yourself with other people. They're probably going through the same thing. And the beauty of this industry is quickly as it turned one way, it can turn the other way. And you don't know when that's going to happen. So my advice would be, you got to keep on going, but you've got to realize as lonely as it can be at times in this industry, it's a teaming kind of environment. And you've got to rely on managers and other salespeople and your clients around you to help you get through that. Yeah, I, I'm a firm believer that if you don't like the game you're playing and the people you're around, you're wasting your time. Yeah. Um, you got, this is a really fun game. Yeah, at least it's I, not easy. It's, it's fun, easy, but it's not easy. But, you know, the challenges of it and the the pay, it's like playing 52 cards. You know, you flip them over and you if you keep flipping them over, you're going to start matching them. And that's the fun part. There's a deal there someplace. There's a, always a deal there. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing I would say. Surround yourself with people who can do things that you're not very good at. Instead of trying to get good at things you're not good at. And what a waste of time. Whatever's going on, it's going to change. And so you've got to be adjusted to that change. And it, it, if you can't adapt, then you shouldn't be in the business. And so just because um, we're in a pandemic or because we're in a financial crisis or whatever, you just have to keep on going. Just keep on going. People are fascinated by commercial real estate. They just are. And whether it be a business owner or a landlord or another broker or an appraiser, people want to talk to you about your knowledge base, about what you know. It's fascinating cocktail conversation to begin with. And um, recognize that, offer them something. And if you just keep on going, It'll, it'll change again. So put you in a position, put yourself in a position for success. Every category is at a different place in the market at any one time. And so, I mean, I've shifted from different categories, whether I'm an investor or a broker, and having some knowledge about all of that is important. But it is a fascinating world. As you say, when you go to a party, if they know you are in commercial real estate, they want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Quit reading the paper and just go knock on doors. Yeah.